going on everyone it's mr west i hope we're all well one of the most requested videos on my channel is how to set up a oneplus device on a mac now i don't own a mac myself i'm a windows person for my sins however i do know a man who has a mac and uh, later on in this video i'm going to show you how you set up the usb configuration options so your oneplus device can be recognized by your mac computer or macbook air or macbook pro or what have you uh, i couldn't work out first of all why it's so difficult for this to happen but one suspects that is to do with the configuration option out of the box now some people say they haven't had many problems but others do say they have trouble actually getting the phone to be recognized by a computer so to do so what you first need to do is configure it in the developer options now you do that by going into these settings and then scroll all the way to the bottom of the menu and click on the about phone section now once you're in there if you scroll right the way to the bottom of that page you'll see an option called build number they need to tap on that seven times now i'm already a developer so you'll see that it's not activating on this particular graphic or if you tap that seven times it'll say congratulations you're now a developer so what you then need to do is go back out of that and then you need to go into the developer options you need to look for an option that says enable usb debugging there'll be a short warning which is just a disclaimer it's very very harmless and safe to do so come back out of that menu and then you need to go to the option that says select usb configuration and when you click on this you'll have the charging only which will be enabled as default what you do need to do is click the option underneath that which is mtp once you've done so that's all set up then you need to go back out that screen unplug your usb cable if it's not already plugged in and then plug this back in and in the next section of the video i will show you how it all works with a mac and what options you need to select in order for you to be able to browse the internal files on your oneplus and transfer them over to your mac at your own discretion okay so as long as you followed the instructions at the start of the video i will show you how you can transfer files from your oneplus device to your mac in this case we've got a macbook air so the first thing you need to do obviously is plug in your usb cable and then just insert the other end into your oneplus we've got a oneplus 6 for the purpose of this video but it will work on a 3 3t 5 5t and onwards so as i said at the start of the video it is very very important that you choose the correct and android transfer file option so it's this option here that you need so you just need to click on that until it expands and then press that for more options and press transfer files now when i do this after a couple of seconds a cd drive will appear in the top right hand corner of the screen on the macbook home screen so if i just click on that if we just wait a few moments and we'll see here there's a cd drive here which we need to click on, just double click. And then we've got five options. So ignore this one, this one, this one, and this one. They don't do anything. The one you need to track the, sorry, the one you need to concentrate on is this one here. It says Android file transfer brackets OSX close brackets dot DMG. So if you double click on this and it'll be just verifying and then finishing that transfer process. Now, you just need to double click on Android file transfer. So click on the little Android figurine here. Wait a few moments and this will open up your OnePlus 6 folder. It's a lot more simple than I was expecting it to be. So I'm not saying it's easy for everybody, but it's a highly requested video. And it's what I wanted to make. So apology for the crude surroundings and filming quality. This isn't my house. This is a friend's house and this is his MacBook, which he's very kindly allowed me to come and use just for the purpose of this video. Once you're into the folders, it's just like on Windows, you've got all of your folders laid out slightly differently, obviously, to the Windows style, but they are all in the correct order. So if we just go into, example, the camera folder, just double click on camera, and then all of your photos will show up in chronological order. So they're all in date order, so you can change that if you need to. So as you have the most recent at the top, or oldest at the top instead. So that is pretty much it. And if you need to transfer one of these over to your desktop, you just simply click on one and then hold that and simply transfer over to your desktop and it will do so at will. And we'll just show that it's worked. There we go. A can of Duff beer from Lidl's, a highly good value German supermarket in Britain. So that is it. Like I say, I don't wanna make uh, light of the fact that I found it quite simple. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than this based on what people have been telling me. It's a very highly requested video. 
and a lot of, a lot of people have been asking me how you do it on the Mac and please do a video for the Mac. So just follow the instructions that I uh, set out at the start of the video and you simply cannot go wrong. I've tried this with my OnePlus 6 and I've also tried it with the OnePlus 3T as well and it hasn't failed to work every single time. So that is pretty much how you connect your OnePlus device to your Mac, iMac, MacBook, MacBook Pro, what have you. They all work the same, the same file system and that is basically how it works. So that is it. It's quite simple for me. It's easy for me to say because I've done it so many times. However, I do hope you found that helpful. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and also share the video online on social media. I upload videos every single week. So please consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos like this and more other great content coming soon. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks very much for watching. My name is Mr. West and I'll catch you guys later.